Hey guys, previously we compared the Jabra Elite 4 Active to the cheaper Elite 3. But how do they compare to the premium Jabra earbuds from the same range, the Elite 7 Active and the older Elite Active 75T? To be specific, number one, are we gonna get better performance from the 7 Active simply because they're more expensive? And number two, is the Elite 4 Active really an upgrade over the older Active 75T? If these are the questions you have, this video is for you. By the way guys, if you want to see more comparisons like this one, hit subscribe and tap the bell button to stay notified of new content from this channel. When comparing them to the 7 Actives, the Elite 4 Actives are noise cancelling earbuds that are actually very close or similar to the 7 Actives. For example, they are rated IP57 just like the 7 Actives and they've got almost as much battery life at 7 hours in the buds and 28 hours with case compared to the 7 Actives 8 hours in the buds and 30 hours with case. So it's only a very small difference. They come with Sound Plus app support too, so you're gonna be able to customize the Elite Force sound quality using a graphic EQ or some EQ presets, customized here through transparency and call experience just like you would on the 7 Actives. So you're really getting most of the 7 Actives features, but for much less money. Not that I said most, because you're still gonna miss out on some of the 7 Actives features like wireless charging, button controls, customization, and my sound calibration, which automatically tunes the sound quality of the 7 Actives to the sensitivity of your ears, and thus allowing you to squeeze a little more detail from your music than if you were to go without my sound calibration. So there are some very clear advantages the 7 Actives have over the Elite 4 Actives. Comparing the Elite 4 Actives to the older Active 75Ts though, these used to be the premium model, so they've also got premium level features like my sound calibration, customizable here through, custom button controls, but there's much more of a competition between these earbuds because in some ways, the 4 Actives are better than the older 75Ts. For example, the 4 Actives have got better battery life. The Active 75Ts also lack the option to use either the left or the right earbuds alone. So if you want to use just one earbud, you can only use the right earbud, not the left. Whereas the 4 Actives don't have that restriction. You can use either left or right alone, doesn't matter. However, the Active 75Ts do have multi-point pairing, which lets you stay connected to two devices at the same time for taking phone calls or listening to audio. At the time of this video's recording, that is something that the newer 4 Active or 7 Active still doesn't have, and is one of the main reasons why the 75Ts are still quite popular even today. In terms of fit, all of them feel quite snug and stable, However, the 4 Actives have a more angular structure and some of you are going to feel like they lock into your ears better compared to something that has a rounder body like the 7 Actives. The 75Ts do have a larger body and for some people with very big ears, like me, they're going to feel like they fill up more space in the conch and thus they feel far more snug than the 4 Actives. The flip side of that though is for people with smaller, cuter ears. The 75Ts will get painful to wear eventually, making the 4 Actives or the 7 Actives much more comfortable and more suitable for longer periods of wear. In terms of sound quality, I feel that the Elite 4 Actives seem to sit nicely between the two in terms of bass performance. So if I were to rank them based on bass performance, I'd say that the 75T has the best bass, deep, thumpy, lots of extension. The 4 Actives have a little less extension than the Active 75Ts, but it's got as much punch and thump, while the 7 Actives are a bit thinner than either the 4 Actives or the Active 75Ts in the lower sub-registers. In terms of mid-range richness, clarity, track separation, and detail, 
the four actives are a little behind, with the seven actives taking second place and the 75Ts first. So, as you can see, the 75Ts, despite being the oldest model, they're actually holding out pretty well against the newer models. With my sound calibration, the gap simply widens. The 7 Active and 75T starts sounding more lively with more detail and balance. That being said, despite being positioned as the 7 Active's budget alternative, the 4 Active's overall sound pretty sweet. Solid bass, warm velvety mid-range, decent clarity, and overall quite enjoyable to listen to. Oh, and I need to add that the four actives have aptX codec support, something that's not supported on the 7 Active or 75T. You don't have to worry about that if you're enjoying music on iPhones, because iPhones don't support aptX, right? But this does mean that on Android devices, you're going to be transmitting your audio over the higher quality aptX codec. And this is very important because Android phones don't decode AAC codec as well as iPhones. So what this ensures is better quality audio on Android devices and quality that is much more in line with that on iOS devices. Okay, microphone test. The Elite 4 Actives have four microphones in the earbuds like the others. So let's see how they compare in terms of mic pickup in both quiet and noisy places. So I've got some really loud cafe style background noise along with some wind noise with this fan over here. Really noisy. I've now made a phone call in a quiet place using the Jabra Elite 4 Active. Background noise. I've now made a phone call in a noisy place using the Jabra Elite 4 Active. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Jabra Elite 7 Active. Background noise. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Jabra Elite 7 Active. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Jabra Elite Active 75T. Background noise. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Jabra Elite Active 75T. So in terms of call quality, the 4 Actives fared really well against the more expensive 7 Actives. Its mic pickup is comparable to the 7 Actives and when things got challenging, the 4 Actives sounded cleaner and far smoother whereas the 7 Actives sounded choppy. They were also quite comparable to the 75Ts, maybe a little less clean sounding but not by a whole lot. In terms of rejecting wind noise, there seems to be very little difference at all between all three earbuds. Right now, we're going to see how the Elite 4 Active's noise cancelling performance compares to the others. In order to test their noise cancelling, I'm going to play the same background noise as before.
So, seems like in terms of noise cancelling performance, the Elite 7 Detectives are the best among them, especially at cancelling low frequency noise. But the Elite 4 Actives are not that far off, to be honest. They did do quite decently at cancelling some of that mid range noise. The 75Ts fared the worst among the bunch, but that is to be expected because Jabra only added ANC to the 75Ts as an afterthought long after these earbuds were launched. I think it was like 6 or 8 months later. Now we're gonna see how much Bluetooth audio lag the 4 Actives have compared to the rest when playing games and watching videos on both Apple and Android devices. The Apple device that I'm gonna use is the iPhone SE 2020. For Android, I'm gonna use the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. First, the gaming audio lag test. As a reference point, let's see what the internal latency looks like on the iPhone SE. This is audio straight from the iPhone speaker. Now, the Elite 4 Active, the 7 Active, then the Active 75Ts, and then we'll repeat the same test on the S21 Ultra. So it turns out that when you're gaming on iOS and Android devices, the Elite 4 Actives have the lowest latency among the bunch. That being said, what you just saw is only when you're gaming. When you're watching videos using apps like YouTube or Netflix on your phone, you won't be getting much or any lag at all because these apps have their own latency correction that automatically delays the video so that it syncs up better with the audio, like so. Hey guys, so a new software update for the Sony WF-1000XM4 just dropped. Update number 1.3.3 replaces 1.2. And according to the update list, it promises to further improve the stability of Bluetooth connection and music playback. Hey guys, so a new software update for the Sony WF-1000XM4 just dropped. Update number 1.3.3 replaces 1.2. And according to the update list, it promises to further improve the stability of Bluetooth connection and music playback. In conclusion, the four actives occupy a very special niche in Jabra's constellation of earbuds, and I think they're gonna be quite popular among the more price sensitive crowd because they sound good, have a nice set of features, a small compact form factor, and they're more within reach for most people. Indeed, a great set of earbuds for both work and working out. Yes, it's true that Jabra did cut some corners with them so they can price them lower, but these have got almost everything the more expensive 7 Actives have, but at a more compelling price point. They've also got better call quality than the 7 Actives, and if that's what's important to you, then you should definitely check out these earbuds. If you already have the Active 75Ts, I wouldn't recommend switching to the 4 Actives unless you crave that extra battery life and that little bump in noise cancelling. Because I feel that 
if you already have the Elite Active 75Ts, it makes much more sense to upgrade to the 7 Actives, but not always. Check out this video to find out why. But I want to know what you guys think. If you already have the Elite Active 75Ts, do you think it's worth switching to the 4 Actives or the 7 Actives? Or would you rather just forego everything and stick with what you have, the Elite Active 75T? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, appreciate your time. If you like this video, please smash like and share. If you're new here to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe and tap the bell button to stay notified of new content from this channel. Also, a big shout out to these legends who support this channel by contributing a dollar or more per month through the crowdfunding website, Patreon. You can also join us on the world's most popular gaming chat app, Discord, if you want to hang out or chat. Link is in the box down below. Click here if you want to know how the Elite 4 actives compare to the Elite 3 or watch another video from this channel.